window, please? <laughs> Don't kill him! Why does his life have any less value than yours? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. No, I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. I mean, this is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. Uh -huh. oh. oh! I'm talking to a bee. I'm talking to a bee. And the bee is talking to me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How did you learn to do that? That, that, that. The talking thing. <laughs> That's very funny. Can I, uh, get you something? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? Hey, you want a little rum cake? You look great! <laughs> no. Uh-huh. Oh! <laughs> Is that a, a bee joke? Yeah, different. So anyway, what are you gonna do, Barry? I know how you feel. Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. My only interest is flowers. Oh, huh. Oh, you're in Sheep Meadow. Yes. Oh, no way. I know that area. Do you know I lost the toe ring there? Uh, oh, yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's no trouble. <laughs> sure. Here, have a crumb. Okay, Barry. <laughs> oh, to be in the Tournament of Roses. That's every florist's dream. Up on a float, surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. No. All right, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? Yeah, okay, I see, I see. All right, your turn. What, you don't have anything like that? Oh, my. You must just want to sting all those jerks. So you really have to watch your temper. <gasps> oh, my goodness! Are you okay? Yeah, it was. How did you know? Boy, you've really got that down to a science. <laughs> I'll bet. See that actor? For people. We eat it. Well, bees make it. It's organic. It's just honeyberry. But it was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. I'm helping him sue the human race. This is Ken. I'm telling you, I think the jury's on our side. I'm a florist. To a great team. Oh, Ken. Uh, I didn't think you were coming. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. There's still a little left. I could heat it up. What are you doing? We need to talk. He's just a little bee, and he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. No, but there are other things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Goodbye, Ken. Oh, I'm sorry about all that. Are you gonna be okay for the trial tomorrow? Objection! Bees have good quality, and it feels good to take my mind off the shop. I don't know why, but instead of flowers, people are given balloon bouquets now, and artificial flowers. Yeah, me too. Oh, bees must hate those fake plastic things. Well, maybe this could make up for it a little bit. You know, Barry, this lawsuit's a pretty big deal. Are you sure that you want to go through with it? You can do it! High five! Oh, sorry! What do you mean? You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? This... That is not the half of it.
doesn't look very good, does it? And whose fault do you think that is? It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. So you take away the produce that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, <clears throat> and I know this is also partly my fault. How do we do it? That just kills you twice. <sighs> Listen, Barry, sorry, but I gotta get going. To the final Tournament of Roses parade in Pasadena. They've moved it up to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. I know. Me neither. Barry? Yeah, they are! I know! That's why this is the last parade! Could you slow down? <gasps> Barry! Yes, it kind of is. Actually, it's completely closed down. I don't want to hear it. Bees? Pollen! I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD. Official floral business. Oh, it's real. Thank you. It was a gift. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess and you could be the pea! Uh, yeah. Yes? Yes. It's got to work. Mary, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. Be careful. What happened here? Is that another bee joke? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Bees unconscious and so is the co-pilot. Barry Benson. I can't fly a plane. Yes. Wait a minute, Barry. We're headed into some lightning. Cover. You know what? This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Barry, what happened? That may have been helping me. It turns out I cannot fly a plane. You don't have to yell. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. You snap out of it. 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 <gasps> Hold it. How's the plane flying? They do get behind a fellow. Oh, Blacktop, where? I can't see anything. Can you? Okay. Cut the engine. Oh, this is insane, Barry. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Right. Who's next? I'd like some honey with that. It is be approved. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip order for a wedding and I can't get them anywhere. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Can I help who's next? Who's next?